Welcome back everybody. We got a beautiful morning here. It's supposed to be hot. It's supposed to be 95 here today in North Carolina. So I'm out here early doing some fishing and uh, we're going to see if we can do a uh, let's eat whatever we catch out of the ocean here uh, <laughs> video. So I got some shrimp baited and uh, let's catch some fish. I think I might have something on this rod. Let's check it and see. It's doing a lot of dancing, more so than, I don't know, I, I can't tell. There's times where I'm sure I have something and I reel it in and there's nothing on there. But let's check it and see. Nope, something took my bait. There's crabs, they're a problem. I actually caught a crab last night. I was reeling in and he was a big one too. He was hooked right to my line there. Let's check this guy again. I'm pretty sure there's something on there. This is called, uh, I think it's a king, like a golf kingfish or a king croaker. Or there's all sorts of names for it. Um, I, I was reading about these last night. You can eat these, but it said you have to be careful because they generally have a lot of parasites. I'll show you his mouth. Uh, so I'm not going to mess around with that. Now that I got him off the hook, let me show you. He's, he's his mouth, he must be some sort of bottom feeder. So, because you can see, no real teeth. Just has sort of that like carp mouth almost. He's a pretty cool little fish though. We caught a bunch of these last night. And uh, I'm gonna release him. Let's watch him go. Oh, wrong way, buddy. There you go. There he goes, he's off. And of course, just like when we're freshwater fishing, off camera, I did catch three of these guys. And I am gonna keep these. These are uh, Atlantic croakers, which I was telling you about. They're either like good for bait or you can eat them too. I guess they're pretty decent to eat. So we got those off camera, of course. And here we go again, got another catch. Check this out, let me get him off the hook. Okay, check that guy out. He's a puffer fish, non-toxic, non-poisonous. I don't know if you can see, I'll show you his teeth. He's got like human teeth. See him right there? I don't think I'd wanna let him bite me, but he's pretty cool. And uh, you're not, I don't wanna eat this guy either, so. <laughs> I'm going to let him go. There we go. There he's off. I did see that you can eat those guys. Um, in fact, I watched a video of a guy that was cleaning them. But I don't know, they just look too cute to me to try and eat. So <laughs> I know I said eat anything we catch. I think we might just change it to a croaker catch, cook, and clean. Because I've caught three species so far and two of them I don't want to eat, so... <laughs> Okay, we're back this e the evening here. We came back this evening to see if we catch more fish. And uh, Tucker's got one. Let me show you what he's got. Check this out. That's a pompano. That's what you use these rigs for right here, this pompano rig. That's a good tasting fish. That guy is awful small. There's no size regulations, but I'm just going to let him go back in the water. We're not going to get much meat off of him, but that is a pompano right there. Nice catch, Tuck. We've been fishing for about an hour here. Uh, I'm not filming us reeling in anymore because we've reeled in so many times only to have our shrimp gone. So, But I did just reel in and I had two fish. 
this is a, a pompano and this guy he's a keeper so we'll be eating him he's big enough to get nice fillet and they're tasty too let me show you that guy they're real I don't know if you can tell they're shiny and they're silver they do get a little bigger than this but uh, yeah this guy's big enough to I mean not a, a huge fillet but good enough that we can give it a taste test <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna wrap up the catch part of this video. So we basically have, I think we got three species. I'll show them to you tomorrow. The ones from this morning are in the freezer. So we got um, three croakers. I got a big pinfish in there, which is, I'll show you him too. And then we got actually got two pompanos. Tucker just caught one, another one that was decent size. So those are the three species and uh, I'm going to fillet them. I've never actually filleted any of those, and so I'll probably do that off camera. And yeah, so we'll we'll see. We'll do a taste test: pinfish, croaker, or pompano. I have a feeling the pompano is going to win because people actually like, you know, order that at restaurants and stuff. Well, I am getting ready to um, fillet these fish. Let me show you what we got, and then I'm going to fillet them, and then we're going to cook them. So here's our fish. This is a pinfish. This is a big one. These three are croakers and then these two are the pompanos. So I am going to fillet these and then we're going to cook them. Uh, we're going to deep fry them. I got them all filleted. It's obviously not a lot of meat. That's the pompano. They all pretty much look the same too. The easiest one to fillet was by, by far the pompano. That was super easy. The croaker was very difficult. It was real um, mushy. And then that's the pinfish. For the size of it, there wasn't a lot of meat on that, um, which is sort of like a bluegill. And then we're just going to deep fry them in this New Orleans style fish fry. So we'll see how they look and we'll test them. Hey, we got it all fried up. We got the pompano. Hmm. Croaker, <laughs> and this was the pinfish. This I forgot about. Last night or last cast, I caught a bluefish. It was like 13 inches. There's a picture of it right there, and that was not easy to fillet. Uh, I didn't know much about bluefish, but that's all that's left from it. it was actually like red meat. I don't think anybody's gonna try that. So let's try the uh, let's try the pinfish first. Okay. <clears throat> okay, you guys ready? Yeah. Try the pinfish. I got the family here. Haley wants no part of it. She doesn't like fish at all. So let's try the pinfish. Very fishy. Yeah, this is very fishy. Very fishy. I don't really like it. It's like mealy too. Yeah, it has a very, very strong fish flavor. That was the one that a lot of people say is like a saltwater um, bluegill. bluegill, right? But it's very fishy. All right, croaker. Let's try the croaker. Croaker is good bait fish. Let's try it, right? This is the one with the parasite. No. That's better. Mm -hmm. That's that's good. That's like eating like a bluegill or like. That's pretty good. Yeah, I like that. Squeaked in my teeth. Yeah. Do you like that? Do you like it? <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah. Anybody want this piece here? No, you can't. Yeah, definitely. That was good. All right. Last one here. Pop it off. Should take the big piece. <laughs> Should take that one. No, you can't. Okay, you ready? That. That's good. It's flaky. That's good. Very flaky. Very minimal fish taste to it. Of course, we fried them and we put like a coating on them, so that's going to help anything taste better. But mm -hmm. that pompano is good. Like yeah, if you good. had a big Sandwich? pompano fillet and you grilled it and put some stuff on it, that I was like good. That. That's very good. Yeah. 
That's why you can actually order it in restaurants. So everybody's favorite. What's everybody's favorite? Pompano. Pompano. What's everybody's least favorite? Whatever that. The pinfish. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Does anybody want to try this uh, blue fish with me, Tucker? Yeah, I will. Cooper, you will. Mm -hmm. Rage to you. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. It's weird because it's white meat now, but it was red when I filleted it. So. Are we trying it? Yeah. It's actually not that bad. It's no, bad. it's not that bad. It's not less good. fishy than yeah. that pinfish, but it's still, it has a. I don't know about the texture. Yeah, it's dry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Dry. We all pretty much agree. Pompano one, croaker, bluefish, pinfish. Pin the, the, the bluefish was, um, I didn't know anything about it. I had to look it up. I didn't even know what it was. And um, the bluefish, apparently you can get in restaurants and stuff, but... Um, I guess uh, the the meat needs to be kept cold, and it just sort of disintegrates if it gets warm. So as I was filleting it, it was like disintegrating as I was filleting it. So that's all I was left with. So, all right. So I hope you enjoyed our multi-species catch, clean, and cook. Pompano was the clear winner. That is like a delicacy down south in the Flo in Florida too. Um, so anyway, there's more fishing videos there. If you made it this far, thank you. If you're not a subscriber, you can subscribe there. We'll see you next time.